Today we're going to look at replacing the canister vent solenoid as referred to in a lot of vehicles or might be referred to as a canister shut solenoid on this particular vehicle. Today we're working on a 2010 Honda Accord with a 3.5 liter engine and we're underneath the vehicle in the rear. So off the side here this is the rear cross member that goes between the two rear wheels. Uh, I got the fuel tank just ahead of it and now we can see the EVAP vapor canister assembly mounted on the back here. And you can tell this is a Michigan vehicle. You see some of the rust. You know, this thing's got close to 200,000 miles on it. And uh, you know, in some cases it might be necessary to replace the entire canister assembly at the same time. In which case we'd drop some of these bolts and d disconnect a few uh, fuel vapor lines and drop the entire assembly. But today we're going to go ahead and just replace the solenoid. So first thing I need to do is disconnect the electrical connector here and I'm going to set that off to the side. Now we've got this ring here and don't worry our new one comes with a brand new ring so in some cases you may decide to just pop it off but we don't want to damage the canister. So I'm going to grab it with just my bare hands and give it a quarter turn and you can see it wasn't a whole lot of effort here as able to, to remove it. Now that's going to expose the solenoid and so give it a little bit of working back and forth. There's a couple different o-rings holding it in place so I might want to gently use a screwdriver here to help kind of pry this out of the canister. And there we have it. Not too bad, not a whole lot of effort, and I was able to slide this old unit out. Now we can see there's a couple different alignment tabs, so it's got to go in a specific way. So in a similar fashion, I will line up my new one and put it in place. Now there is a temptation to lubricate these O-rings, and in many cases I'm a fan of using some engine oil or um, some sort of a, a grease for this but it, service information makes it very clear on these to not lubricate the o-rings. Now it's going to probably affect uh, the EVAP system in some way, shape, or form. And you can see without a whole lot of effort I was able to install it there properly. So now is when the trick comes in and I need to uh, get this locked back in place. And so kind of pop pop it in there and then I give it the old quarter turn to lock it into place where it belongs there and just like that we're locked in. Now take my connector, plug it in and we've gone ahead and replaced this canister vent solenoid. Now I need to of course clear any trouble codes that were set and rerun the system test to make sure that it's operating properly. Hopefully now you understand what it takes to replace the canister vent solenoid on a Honda Accord with a 3.5 liter engine. 